my wrists and my necks were fucked up. The spin part of the verbal rage of it. Huh? Start what? Hi everybody, I'm just Rich Fish. I'm, I'm, hi everybody, I'm just Governor of the Hi everyone, I'm Rich Fish and I'm, I'm like a drunk as alcohol. I'm drunk. My little wife is, I would do cuckolack of porn, pornography. My wife has left me. A whole bunch of guys. I'm drunk on alcohol. Fuck your neck. Where's this from? Where's neck from? Fuck, man. This week on the show, we got she calls for Free Talk Radio. There's a guy with no shirt. Also, there's a call Joe Pags and talking about the coverage to these. That was also. Oh, we also call Wayne Dupree. But first, so the first thing that I was saying, and like we call it the guys who don't wear shirts from the main episode. Now, we do have uh, with us uh, wanting to discuss the story at hand. Uh, Daryl, he's joining us from oh. Idaho. Uh, Daryl, you there? I am here. Thank you so much for taking my call, fellas. And uh, I'll, well, I'm just going to say, I mean, this is insane to me. I hope that this is just, uh, I hope this isn't something that ever comes to fruition, the idea of being able to tax links. I mean, it's just such a slippery slope that it, that it, you know, you, you feel like you, it's, it's very slippery. And uh, I, the big thing that I think is like these, all these, these governments, is, they're coming for the shirt off our, our back. And speaking of which, I'm not wearing a shirt today, and I'm just curious why you guys got your shirts on. I think you got the wrong show, man. It's uh, Free Talk Live that uh, people always are in with their shirts off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. people bitch and complain freedom. if I have shirtless I moments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that other guy. I've seen him. I've seen him on the screen though. That guy Ian or whatever, right? He likes to take his shirt off. So is, is there any chance he'd come back on cam? Maybe get that old shirt off. <laughs> I don't think that's happening today. <laughs> Not today, it's cold here today. Yeah, it's a little on the chilly side. Yeah, the guy, this guy is always uh, calling into uh, Free Talk Live. Oh, like, yeah. I've already heard him like a dozen times now. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, <laughs> kind of. I mean, boring. just at least ask Dang. him. At least ask him if he's gonna take it off. No, no take he, it off, we Ian. Did. Take he's it off. Not. <laughs> not today. You gotta, you gotta pay up for that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right. So is, uh, is that it, Daryl? All right, you have a good day. We go to your phone calls and thoughts. We'll start out with Andy. He's calling from Minneapolis, listening online at LRN.FM. Hello, Andy. I mean, it's one thing to wear one shirt, but now Daryl's got two shirts on. This is very observant. I have to hand it to these guys. Uh, you know, you, it's not that cold out today, Daryl. You are wearing two shirts. I generally do. I, I, have, a com- I, I have a compression degrees. layer. And uh, then I have... That's like an exercise thing? Uh, yeah, please define compression layer, because I've never heard it. You've never heard of compression clothing? I've heard... Co- no, I haven't. Tell me. All right, t- t- so... Pray, continue. You've heard of Under Armour? I've heard of that. Cops wear Under Armour all the time. So do athletes. Isn't that, uh-huh. isn't that a roll-on deodorant? Under Armour? <laughs> No, no, it's a brand of it's a brand of clothing, yeah. and one of the things that they make it's a compression shirt. If you ever see somebody, they also a, make compression pants. I'm not wearing the Under Armour brand. If you ever see somebody at a protest wearing Under Armour, immediately suspect them of being a cop. Sorry, but uh, they yeah, love so, that stuff. We do have uh, some very observant nipple viewers tape is a thing. On by the, the way, yeah, it is. Uh, we do have some very observant viewers on our Twitch feed. That's where he was watching. Uh, you you know you don't have to lie. I just want to say you don't have to lie about why you're calling in. That dude said he wanted to talk about tariffs. Um, you can say yeah, it's free talk live. Yeah, you I can mean, say you want to talk about Daryl's double shirts. You know whatever. Joe Pegs is a very famous radio. Joe Pegs is a very famous radio host. We call him about and give him a prank call. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, let me go to the phone lines quickly. I got about a minute, Chris. What's on your mind? Well, uh, hey, I just want to talk about the Susan Collins thing. I think it's going to backfire on them, this type of. Uh, uh, I think it's going to be easy fodder for the campaign. I think it's, uh, you know, if you remember last year, do you remember with Governor Detuides? No. Do you don't know, do you not know out of Idaho, uh, Detuides? I don't. 
Oh, it's uh, Detuity's nuts. <laughs> waiting to see if he was going to do something and by the way that didn't even have to be yeah. dumped that was just stupid and, well i did anyway because it was stupid okay but carrie, carrie and i were, were just saying right now that the audio sounded kind of funny and i was like well, it sounds very internet sounding so yeah that kind of goes with what he said yeah so, absolutely kind of hey listen uh, congratulations you made an idiot out of yourself Seriously, call your mom and, and be proud. It is uh, 888-941-PAGS. <laughs> hey, listen, I thought that you nailed it better when you talked about that candidate, D's, you know, when you did that. I thought, oh, I, yeah, mine was much better You were better way than better that, than that. Right? I mean, this guy could, could even oh, get it out. He's like, <laughs> 888-941-PAGS, JoePags.com, Eric Trump to come. Stay here. Wayne Dupree is very, has open phone lines. When going to you could go into his conference and get whatever you want for to it got and just uh, use Jim Wall just uh, did just prank type stuff. Check it out. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's how it rolls. All right. Yep. All right, so, Rebecca. Lockwood. Go ahead, Rebecca. Sorry about that. Oh no, I'm I'm all set. I I can I can listen from here on out. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so when you frame this election in this narrative, you you they have to win. I don't know why they don't do it. We know people told us, you know, I'm a steel worker. I voted for Donald Trump, but the Republican Party <laughs> isn't doing what they need to do. Hey guys, I'm sorry. I, thanks for watching. Thanks for donating to the Patreon. I gotta work through, you know, it's just my wife. And thank you for watching. Thank you for coming to the for the Patreon. Check out next week's episode and check out also the twitch.tv slash friendly little boy to call into the program. I'm Rich Bitchman and I'm a cuckold supreme. That's that old catchphrase you love. Bye. <laughs>